Uh, welcome back to Chef You Whack. <laughs> so as you guys can probably tell from the, uh, well, attire that I'm wearing, we're making a toy burn recipe. No, I, I, I wish. Nope, we're unfortunately doing a Hanzo recipe. I knew this day would come, so I figured if I'm gonna be looking stupid, why not dress stupid while also making a stupid hero stupid recipe? <laughs> Today we have the unfortunate pleasure of making some Sakura mochi. Now, ironically, this is the hero that I hate the most, but it's the hero's recipe that I not only spent the most time researching, the most money I spent on an episode, but it's probably one of, if not the easiest recipes in the book where it has just as much ingredients as it does steps. Like, one of the ingredients is just straight up water. Like, literally, here are all the ingredients. Some glutinous sticky rice, which I just substituted for regular plain rice because... <laughs> What? Water, because water. Sugar, the second greatest spice right next to cinnamon. Red, fr red food coloring. Red bean paste that I had to import from frickin' Japan, because what's red bean paste? I I'm not doing that special effect, Sakura leaves. Now this is a problem that I have with this recipe. Whoever wrote this book, where the heck did you get pickled Sakura leaves? I just had to get regular old leaves that doesn't at all look like a pickle. I'm so pissed because I can't even do the whole recipe. Like literally, the whole recipe is just rice and that leaf. And I spent days looking for a leaf, but it was going to take a whole month for a Sakura leaf to come here, and there's a pandemic on So this is going to be a very simple recipe where you're going to have to really take care of the rice because again, that's half the recipe. So now we're gonna need two separate bowls. Be careful. Don't break a bowl like you did last time. Now just like a lot of the treats in this book, we gotta rise the dough. But in this case, instead of dough, we're rising rice. Rising ri rice, ri rice, rice, just pour it in the bowl. Next, get some of your Sakura leaves or Sigma Ball leaves. I seriously don't know what a sour soap is. Sour soap? Soup? Soups? Soup? What's a Grabaloa? Ugh. Oh, they smell rich. Just take Bye, a few of the leaves. Yep, yep, there it goes. Put them in a bowl of whatever you choose to do. I don't really care what you do beyond this point because I don't really even care what I do, especially in life. To make rice taste, well, not like complete dirt, uh, you need to wash the rice. Now, you have to have warm water. No, I just want to wash my rice right now. But now what do you do once you have semi-moist rice? Pancake, shut up, I'm dealing with my depression. You pour it back. Into the bowl, you lose some in the process, but it's okay. Just, just, just don't worry about it. it. But that's not all. No, that's never all. Turn on. Get some water in the bowl. Let it swim in there for how long, boys and girls? An hour or overnight, whichever of you choosing you decide to do with your life again. I don't care. What that's supposed to do is rise the rice. If you don't know what that means, it basically absorbs the water. So you're gonna get very, very thick rice. Just like this, because I was too lazy to wait an hour with you guys. I'm sorry for the deception. But, but, but the, what, what about the bowl of leaves? What do you do? Do you smoke it? No, I wish. You let it sit for just 15 minutes. It's not that bad. Actually, we need a little bit more water. Now, what this is going to do is, I, I don't really know, actually, but I, I just followed the recipe, and I got these cute little leaves. You got to pat them dry, too. You just get a nice dry towel. You wrap it in like it's a little blanket. You tuck it in. Kiss it goodnight. Tell it it's going to be okay. You're gonna be fine. And boom, there's your off-brand Sakura leaf. Wait, is it Sakura or Sakura? 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 We need to drain the rice. Ew. Just came out real quick. Pause on that, but like it did. I just spent 20 minutes on step one. Stir in sugar and red food coloring. You're aiming for a light pink color. Hanzo, don't ever tell me what to do. You're lucky I like pink. Pour the water in the thick. Your sugar. Actually, we need you. Get a massively large, comedically big spoon of sugar in there. Ugh, sugar and rice? I don't know about that, Chief. And then, of course, some red food coloring. Now, they want it pink, and by they, I mean the monstrosity of Overwatch, Hanzo. So we get a nice close-up shot. Oh, yeah, that's a little bit too much red, I think. Actually, now, let's just see how this goes. I still just don't understand what the water was for. It's already absorbed with water. This is just gonna be soup rice. Cover the bowl with plastic and microwave for <laughs> what the fudge. This is the first like real authentic dish that just calls for a microwave. This is one aspect that I respect you for. You're with technology. Because who needs this piece of garbage when you have this beautiful thing? All right, Hanzo, I'm, I'm 
liking your recipe so far. Wait, we need plastic. Ah, I found this little home cover thing. Is this? Oh my god, that is perfect. Get in there. Five minutes. One minute, thirty-seven seconds later. Whoa, 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 whoa! What are you doing? What are you doing? So. It left a little bit of a mess. Uh, so here's our rice. <laughs> I was supposed to leave it covered. There's our rice. <laughs> <laughs> red rice or pink rice? Is this pink or red? I don't. I don't know. So now we need to mash this thing with a motor, a pestle, or the flat of a spoon. What the fudge are the first two? <laughs> you already know what I got, boy. Do you know what that sounds like? Okay. Ugh, there we go. There's six. It's barely enough. Ugh. No, no, you are not allowed to get onto the spoon. Get off of the spoon, sir. Oh no, it's sticking onto the spoon. No, I need you to stick together like a team. It is so hot. I legit gotta just spank it because they don't got enough time to stick. Yeah, that, this is working. When your sexual tensions actually help you cook. All right, we got flat rice cake thingy majiggers. Uh, next comes the bean paste. Doesn't really have a scent, but it just looks like black tar that we, you would use in the streets. Just get half of a teaspoon or a tablespoon and just kind of finger it on there. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what you want to do. I really like the recipes where the heroes mention the food in game, but also in this cookbook. There is not a single Hanzo dish with sake. Now granted, we don't want to indulge in his alcoholic behavior, but it still would have been nice. Using dampened fingers, gently press one portion of sticky rice into a flat disc on a small piece of plastic wrap. All right, I can get dampened fingers. Let me just, mm. There we go. Dampen fingers. Oh no! I was oh I was supposed to wait for the bean paste. I was supposed to do this. Oh, and then put it in there. Fold the rice completely over the paste. Okay, please fold. Oh my god, it's actually folding. Oh my god, this is actually working. It actually folded nice. Way to go, bud. I'm so proud of you. Gotta do this from all different angles to get this nice tucked in. My folding technique. Kind of got progressively worse as the rice went on. But it doesn't matter because look at these. Look at these. They look like little cute snow balls of pinkness. Fold the plastic around the rice ball and tightly twist to compress the rice. What? What? What plastic? Oh, it's set to do it over plastic wrap, not parchment paper. God dang it. It's never as easy. It's never as easy as, oh, just let it sit and chill. No, 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 no. You, you, you need advanced technology like plastic wrap to get this done. I gotta do this six whole times. I hate plastic wrap so much. Uh, how do I wrap this? Sure. Yeah. Uh, sure. Let's, let's go with that. All right, there we go. We got our little babies wrapped in their plastic wrap bedding. Now you might be wondering what we do next. Do we make any seasoning? Do we do anything with the leaves? We let this sit for not five minutes. Now 10 minutes, now 15 minutes, now 20 an hour! We let these sit for an hour! Um, see you then? I, I, I'm not gonna edit something here. One eternity later. You lack hatred, Sasuke! So you know how I left these wrapped for an hour. Turns out, I was supposed to let these sit for an hour in these leaves after I wrapped them! <laughs> Just fit nice and snug. Yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go. Okay, just keep doing this for every single one. I'm not gonna lie, these look really, really cute. So well behaved, so nice. Boys, look at these. Look at how cute they are. They are so adorable. I don't think I've ever made this pleasing of a dish before. I mean, in reality, it's just food dyed rice, but oh my god, does this look so beautiful. I mean, look at them. They, they look like Instagram rice cakes. Uh, Let's try my mochi out, shall we? Oh, mm, mm, okay. Mm. The rice is extremely plain, but come to no surprise, it's literally just watered rice. The only flavoring is the red bean paste. And like, it's not bad, but it's just, I, it is a very plain, mushy dish. It looks so pretty though. Like, it's kind of sad that the prettiest recipe belongs to my least favorite hero and probably what I think is the ugliest hero. Would I make this again? If I had the right leaves, probably. They're, like, they're just leaves. No flavor, no nothing. It just tastes like, 
the outside. I don't know. Like when I saw that one of the six ingredients was just water, I knew that I was going to be in for a very simple dish. And well, but I definitely was. Either way, guys, let me know what you think about this recipe. And anybody that has had mochi, let me know if it's supposed to taste basically plain because... That's what it tastes like. <laughs> but I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. More Overwatch videos to come. And bye.